Welcome back, my DIY nomads. I hope all of you guys are doing really, really well today. Um, I'm reporting to you from the future. As you can tell, I'm not in France. Um, so what happened was I got hit with the flu on the day before I was about to leave, which is just sod's law, really, isn't it? So I've had to miss this trip. <sighs> but it doesn't matter. I tried to get better to try and leave the next day, but it's just, it just wasn't happening. So I took the signs. Uh, I've worked on this week to try and get some positives out of it. And I might have got something that I will hopefully release some news in the coming weeks if everything gets confirmed. But anyway, the I obviously haven't left in the van, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start bringing out two videos a week so you guys can enjoy some two video weekage for a little bit until the van build is almost done. And then I'm going to look at planning to do another little trip myself uh, somewhere within the UK. Um, I'm going to try and go, I don't know, I, I, I mean, if I can do a thousand miles in the UK, that would be pretty cool. Um, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, let's get on with the rest of the video and I'll keep you guys updated with any further news or plans. Um, but I'll definitely get out and do a trip in the van so you guys can see it working in its full glory. pallet's been taken apart, I've cut up the slats, put them on top. Now uh, I've basically gathered together a bunch of screws that I found from random pots in the bottom of drawers, um, bits of furniture that I've taken apart or like other random things like stuff that I've just found and I'm going to be using those to screw in these bits of pallet wood. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh my God, I've still got a bit more headroom. Wait, I need to take my shoes off. <laughs> Guys, this is the, f ironically, the smallest camper van I've ever had. And the first one I've ever had a full length bed in, which makes really no sense at all. But holy God, this is so comfortable. Oh my God. Oh, this week is gonna be so easy if it's this comfortable. The great thing is having this shelf up here, which means it's right next to my head, so at night I can store like stuff up there that's really useful, um, like a look book, my phone, charger, anything like that. Um, one thing I have realised is because actually the cost of screws is quite expensive, the two packs that I bought to get most of the stuff done um, have rinsed through 
a bit more money than thousand pounds so what I've done is to bring it back down under budget I've got rid of my 12 volt extender thing the little thing that charges so I could charge during the night because I realized that it plugs into your cigarette lighter which is ignition triggered so it's completely useless anyway I wouldn't need it I was hoping to be able to plug things in during the night and then charge them but it wouldn't work anyway so I don't need that so back under budget I'm gonna use that for something else I'll probably use that actually in my car I don't even have a car what am I talking about I'll give that to my girlfriend she can put it in her car um, so yeah back under budget managed to get all the screws the screws I used for this bed were just random things that I had lying around like you know you have like a drawer of random bits managed to like take those out there we had pots everywhere there were actually some screws they were you previously used screws from other bits of furniture that we'd made or had so uh, really useful bed is now in I'm gonna give you a sneaky peek of what's up next Oosh, look at my little sink, there we go, it's away. Right now, so this is my bed in its stowed away position. The head is up at the end there, and still got my storage underneath. This is it up, I can drive around, I can even take a passenger potentially if it goes up higher. And then when I get to my camping location, I can basically unclip this, bring the seat forward, bed drops down and rests on the, that bulkhead, and I've got a flat bed again, which is fantastic. By the way, this is the little 12 volt extender thing that I bought that I can't afford to put in the budget. Um, and it had like two of those double sided adhesive 3M pad things on. And my God, they are so sticky. So I'm gonna have to like cut it. Um, I don't know whether I just got some uber sticky ones, but I've never known them to be that sticky usually. Well, everyone, let me know what you think about my uh, rudimentary bed that I made here. If I come across any extra wood, I'll probably look at making some sort of crates for underneath so I can store stuff a bit easier. But plenty of storage underneath, super comfy bed that folds away during driving. This has turned out just as I had hoped. Um, so please remember to subscribe because the series is still going. We're nearly at the point of leaving. I have uh, It's now Monday. I've now got just under a week before I leave for France, which is nuts. Um, so I better get cracking. The van is actually almost there. I've got all the parts that I need. Um, still on budget, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah, really excited. So thank you so much for watching all my DIY nomads. And I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>